Hey guys, so I think I found my favorite AI plugin for Neovim. It's called Avonte, and it's trying to be Cursor, essentially. And if you're not familiar with Cursor, it's this VS Code clone that allows you to chat with your code base, similar to Copilot, but it can use different models, and you can chat with your entire code base, and or like specific files and things like that. And so far, this implementation is probably the best out there. A lot of people have been talking positively about it on Twitter. And yeah, if you haven't seen this before, you should probably check it out. It's pretty amazing. Here's how it looks like. Essentially, you have this right side chatting thing, and you can select the models that you want to use, like load or chat uh, or GPT, etc. And yeah, it's just a VS code, essentially, with some AI stuff. Now, for NeoVim, we obviously have this chat GPT one, and this is very good. It has so many features, very good stuff. There's also Copilot that we can use. But now Avonte is something new, and I think it's actually a new plugin. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it, so I thought I would just share and show you how it looks like. So if you see their demos here, um, this is basically trying to be, as I said, cursor. So a lot of the functionality will probably look the same. Now to install it, this is basically all you have to do. Copy this and put in your Neovim configuration. And it will kind of give you some commands and things like that to use. Now, for the default configurations, it will use by default Cloud, and which is kind of recommended these days. It's fast and accurate. And they have this default key maps here. Everything seems like logical for me, nothing to change. And a few things, you have to kind of set up your own API key um, on your machine. Now, if you go all the way down, you see the to-dos. It's still under development, so you can do all of these things similar to Cursor, like chat with the current file and apply the changes, uh, chat with a block of code, for example. And this slash command, if you're not familiar with this, if you go back to Cursor and hit slash, you see that there's like things that you can do. That's what they mean with the slash commands. You can edit the block and smart tab. The one thing here is like you still can't chat with the project or you still can't add a context or essentially select a specific file to chat with. So again, it's under development, but so far and how it looks like, it looks pretty cool and very solid. So here's a demo, just a quick little demo that show you how it works. So we have this simple main, uh, simple Go project, nothing in it, just a main.go, it's empty. To open up, this plugin, all you have to do is just space AA or leader AA, and it will open up this sidebar here to start kind of asking AI stuff, similar to cursor, if you see, same thing. And you can go into insert mode and basically ask AI whatever you want. So let's say, um, you know, create, to submit this question, you can just press control S and it will essentially give you the answers. Obviously there's a lot of details here, so it shows you all the code and the explanation, similar to any other AI things here. Now to apply these things, if you press on the code, for example, you see that A or capital A to apply this or apply all. So let's say capital A. And here you see that it shows you some sort of a diff kind of uh, view. So you can basically press CO to keep this main thing or CT to kind of apply the new code. So let's try ct and save it and yeah here you see it just gave us all the code for this upload file thing and it's going to put them under uploads so i'm assuming that we don't have the uploads directory so let's add that uploads okay i'll save exit this one and i'm going to start to run the code so go run dot and i have postman up here I have essentially a post request to uploads. I have a file and new vim. And I wonder if the file is called file. Yeah, it is. So if I press send, it says successfully uploaded. So the code is actually working, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that's um, what I wanted to show quickly. There's more things you can do. So for example, um, here, I can select this and you see it shows you these things here, like leader AA to ask a question, for example. Explain this function. It's going to work that way as well. So in this 
section here it shows you the thing that you just selected and above there is just going to show you kind of the explanation you asked for very cool um very promising i think i'm going to start using this kind of a little bit and hopefully when they have this chat with project it's going to be amazing because you can essentially have the same cursor kind of type of functionality inside of NeoVim. and obviously this is open source so you don't have to pay for it the smart tab thing as well it's pretty cool so cursor you have to pay for it especially for like things like smart tab so features you know you can do so many different things here like smart rewrites i think cursor is still like more premium i guess there's a team of developers working on it so you're probably going to have more functionalities here but for an open source project and new vim i mean this is pretty cool so if you like this i would encourage you to maybe sponsor this person or this team i guess contributors so that they can do more work on it it's very promising and yeah i hope to see this kind of get to a state where it's where it can replace cursor for us so that's all I wanted to show you. Just a quick demo uh, on this like cool new Newvim plugin. Hope you liked it. Try it out and let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.